What's going on, everybody? Nick Stevens of Nick Stevens Gaming back with number six in the tutorial series here. Today, we're going to be adding music to our stream starting shortly screen, uh, be right back, and also the stream ending soon. So it's going to be very quick, very easy. Um, I'm going to start this off by saying I do not endorse the use of copyrighted music. <laughs> Disclaimer here. Um, if that's what you want to do, I know that for the time being, at least on Twitch, they'll just uh, they'll mute that portion of your video on demand. So, I mean, if that's not something that you're wanting to happen, then uh, you might want to think about, you know, trying to find some non-copyright music or buy the rights to some music or something like that. Uh, there are a lot of great resources out there for non-copyright music. We're going to be using YouTube's uh, sound library for the purpose of this video just to be on the safe side. So we're going to start off by going into YouTube here and uh, you're going to find your library by going over and clicking on your little icon up in the top right corner. And then you're going to go to your YouTube studio, which right now it's in the beta, but it's going to be easy to find here. So once you get to your little studio dashboard here, you're going to click on other features and then go down to audio library. It's going to take you to YouTube's audio library of completely free music that you're free to use in all your videos and sound effects and stuff like that. We're just going to try to find, I don't know, I like aggressive music. So we're going to find something with an angry mood and we're going to find something fairly long. that's like greater than five minutes because that's generally how much time I have before I uh, start my stream. I'll sit on the uh, stream starting soon stream screen for about five minutes or so. So I've actually already been through these and uh, God, I think my favorite one was busy beat here. Let's go ahead and yeah, that's the one. So let's uh, go ahead and download that bad boy. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to show it in folder. So it'll show it in our, uh, in our downloads folder. We're going to cut that baby out of there. And then I've made a, also another folder for Twitch music on my desktop. So everything will be easy to find. We'll just go ahead and paste that little guy in there. Close out both of these windows here. Minimize that. All right. Now to the adding it, uh, we're going to go into our sources or on our stream starting soon. We're going to go into our sources, click the plus sign to add one. And we're going to go for a media source here. So we're going to double click that. And then on the slider down here at the bottom that says add a new source instead, we're going to go ahead and enable that and we're going to name it music. All right. Then we just click on add source and then we're going to browse for our file. It opened up on my other, other monitor over there. Pay no attention to that. <laughs> go into our Twitch music, go to busy beat. Then we're going to set that up there. Now, just in case we happen to go a little bit longer, on our stream starting soon, uh, you know, technical difficulties and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and we're going to enable loop. Uh, you've also got by default enabled restart playback when source becomes active. That's good. Use hardware decoding when available. That's cool. Show nothing when playback ends. Yeah. And, uh, then we're also going to go with, uh, yeah, we're going to leave this disabled because it'll keep the file open kind of in the background, not playing or anything, but it'll keep it open and active. So it won't have any kind of weird lag time or anything whenever you're going between say, your live screen and your be right back. So we're going to leave things just like they are here. Leave the speed at 1% and we are going to click done on that. And you're going to see down here that there's a brand new volume bar in our mixer and it is just killing it down there. So we're going to turn that down to where it's just, just barely peaking or peaking at its max in the uh, yellow there. Now your music is playing, even though you can't hear it. Uh, some people like to be able to monitor their music while it's playing to see what part of the song it's at or something like that. That's very easy to accomplish. We're just going to click on our little gear cog to open up the advanced audio settings. And you're going to see a little uh, box pop up here that's going to have all of the different uh, audio inputs that you have and actually any of the uh, media inputs, period. We're going to go to our music right here. And in the drop down box where it says monitor off, 
we're going to do monitor and output now if you do monitor only mute output that's going to mute the output in your stream and you're only going to hear it in your headphones so you don't want to do that i learned that the hard way you're going to want to go monitor and output and you'll be able to hear your music and kind of get a feel of how loud it is already and all that so as you change the volume down here it'll change it down there we're just going to go ahead and kick it down just a tiny bit so now we've got that set up i'm going to go ahead so it doesn't become annoying trying to listen to me to go ahead and hit monitor off there and yeah we're going to take that we got everything good on our starting soon and then just like we've done with other assets whenever we're trying to uh add it into other uh, other scenes then we're going to just go here and we're going to right click on music it's going to take it a second to do it for some reason there we go and we are going to copy it then we're going to go to our b right back we're going to paste that baby we're going to do paste reference so it will have automatically all the exact same attributes including your volume level in there and that's also why we put it to where it doesn't like shut it off whenever it's not active now we'll start it back you know from the beginning if you go from your live scene to there now if you go between stream starting soon and be right back it'll continue playing just like normal like it won't start it back over or anything like that but then we're going to go into stream ending soon and we're going to go ahead and paste that reference again and you'll see that it starts playing down there and that's all you got to do um and if you sit there to the playback ends it'll go ahead and loop back to the beginning and all that so you don't really have to worry about being uh time constrained or any of that but i hope this has helped you guys out like i said this is just a real short tutorial and uh, i'll be uploading the next one very 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 soon until the next time i see you guys uh go ahead and throw me a like and subscribe if this helped you out and uh yeah follow me on twitch at the link down in the description and uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Peace.